Okay, um, my name is Hương and I'm from uh, the um, um, Oxford University Clinical Research uh, Unit in Vietnam. And today I'm going to share with you our experience in um, antimicrobial stewardship or AMS implementation uh, from the health system approach in uh, Vietnam. Okay, so um, AMS is an important strategy in the uh, global and also national action plans uh, around the world. And uh, usually an AMS in, uh, program will contain a, a number of core elements that are uh, providing the uh, important uh, structural foundation for the implement implementation of the program, including the leadership commitment, um, accountability and responsibilities of the team, uh, drug expertise, um, specific uh, set of actions uh, to improve the um, behaviors, um, the with tracking of uh, indicators, uh, reporting and uh, feedback, and also education and training. Um, so um, AMS or an AMI is not confined in any uh, department or any area. So that's why we need a whole system approach. We need to involve different um, stakeholders and players uh, we also need to bring in the implementation science and so show society methods in order to address the factors and the contextual determinants uh, in which uh, influence the prescribing behaviors within the hospitals. Um, we have uh, a lot of evidence, evidence-based interventions are there uh, from previous experience around the world. However, we need to identify and, uh, uh, and, and um, use um, suitable implementation techniques in order to tailor these interventions to the specific context uh, of each uh, hospital setting. So I think I, okay. An important aspect of our AMS program is uh, networking and sharing of um, the AMS knowledge and experience internationally and locally. Um, we started um, the uh, AMS um, since 2013 with the VNRS project, which uh, initiated the concept of the AMS in, a, uh, um, in the VNRS uh, hospital network across Vietnam. And, but not until 2019, we were able to uh, organize a national uh, AMS stakeholder meeting together with the Ministry of Health and with the uh, WHO, uh, where we share the experience in implementations, identi identify the issues and challenges, and also identify the way forward. We also collaborate with the Duke Antimicrobial Stewardship Outreach Network in uh, the US um, in um, trying to implement the um, AMS models in uh, provincial hospitals in Vietnam. And we connected the local hospitals with um, the local um, experts who have experience in implementation and also with international, international experts. And recently we um, are working together with our sister units in um, uh, Indonesia, Thailand and Nepal um, in a CDC funded project um, together with the other groups in um, Central and South America and Southern Africa to try to develop a contextualized um, AMS assessment tool to help the local hospitals in evaluating and improving their uh, implementation in AMS. It is very important um, that we need to we, 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 we have an understanding of the barriers and the opportunities for AMS implementation in order to design our AMS program. So uh, this is shown in our um, recent paper in, uh, uh, um, from a mixed method study in the uh, Vinares Network Hospitals. And uh, from this qualitative data, we identify salient aspects that need to be um, addressed Within, our, uh, the, within the future programs. For example, from um, uh, the, give the important roles of different uh, stakeholders like leadership, uh, doctors, um, uh, pharmacists, and microbiologists to the practice that, and that need attention. For example, um, uh, taking culture prior to antibiotic treatment or um, using antimicrobiology uh, data to help guide um, a treatment or uh, the escalation uh, for the patients. So these are imp very important um, and uh, give us the foundation to design our programs. In our implementation approach, we consider hospitals as a complex adaptive systems, uh, which is suggested by a, a growing body of literature. Um, so a complex, a complex adaptive system is a, a collection of individual agents with freedom to act in ways that are not uh, always totally predictable 
and whose actions are interconnected so that one agent actions change the context for other agents. Conceptualizing hospitals as uh, complex, complex adaptive systems uh, has an uh, important implication for us in um, trying to find ways to, to how to intervene within the systems. And it's uh, also reinforced the idea that um, hospital is unique. Each hospital is unique and we can't sort of uh, move intervention from one hospital to another with predictable results. So we need to look at, um, um, we need to, um, uh, to have a system thinking that uh, we need to look at the inter interconnections between parts of the system. We try to incorporate uh, multiple perspectives, uh, try to consider the local conditions and also leverage uh, the local resources and capabilities. We need to think in the context and also in dynamic, that is uh, trying to be responsive and also adaptive to the change in, in the, in the, within the hospitals the system over time. And we need to involve different levels within the system from the senior management to the frontline staff. And in our uh, AMS program, uh, it needs to consist of, uh, consist of uh, ongoing rather than one of activities. So uh, this uh, flow chart uh, kind of uh, give you an impression of uh, how the different uh, actors and actions within the, um, that influence the antimicrobial prescribing and uh, use within the hospital system. And you can see there are a number of, um, of them and we need to all um, have a good understanding of all this and trying to identify the, air, the areas and also where we can find the scenery and the coordination between the the different action and uh, act, actors and stakeholders. And of course, context matters in AMS implementation. And uh, we need to assess the uh, contextual um, determinants from different levels, from micro level, like um, uh, factors related to prescribal or patients, factor related to organize uh, at the meso level, factor related to the uh, cultural, the support, the structures, the readiness to change. And also at the macro level, at the national level, the guidance and the networks and the regulation and evidence available. And we also need to take into account the, um, uh, the factors that are um, at the multi-level, that happening at the multi-level um, uh, layers, like the, the social relationship, the financial matters, leadership styles, time availability, feedback uh, mechanisms, and also the physical environment. So here uh, I present, um, an example of uh, our implementation study that um, uh, we are doing at the moment with AMS program in uh, several hospitals across Vietnam. And um, here is the, um, the process where uh, the, in each hospital, um, starting from baseline evaluation um, through to identifying the uh, opportunities for uh, intervention, and then planning phase, implementing phase, and then evaluation and with reporting and feedback. And along this um, cycle, we provide training and technical support and monitoring um, um, for our uh, hospitals AMS team. Specifically, uh, a multidisciplinary AMS team consisting of um, uh, different um, key uh, department represent representative and also expertise from um, the hospital. Um, and they work on the SWOT analysis, which is a um, uh, strength, weakness, and uh, opportunities and threat uh, analysis, and then develop the annual uh, implementation plan um, with the specific acti activities like training, audit, and feedback by the clinical pharmacist, uh, performing work rounds with regards to antibiotics, and um, review of the antibiotic prescription and providing feedback to the, to the clinical work, and uh, also analyzing the routine data and reporting. And we also conduct the knowledge attitude and practice surveys to inform the implementation. Um, so the few next slides I um, present uh, to show some, um, so, so that you understand the, you can see the variation uh, between the hospitals and even between the works within each hospitals. Um, and for example, we, uh, in uh, some hospitals, we can identify uh, the words that are similar so that we can select uh, some of them for control work and some of them for intervention words. But for some other hospitals, it is impossible. So we need to um, design our study in a way to um, fit into these conditions uh, and uh, trying to find uh, uh, um, the, best, um, the best available methods in order to uh, compare and to uh, monitor the, the process. 
Uh, similarly, uh, there are also large variations in the process indicators like the guideline compliance or the level of uh, appropriateness in antibiotic prescriptions. Um, for some hospitals, very high level of inappropriateness um, as um, reviewed by the uh, reviewing doctors. Uh, for example, in hospital two here, up to 85% um, are in a poor in appropriate. Um, however, at the same time, the level of guideline compliance is uh, quite high, um, actually um, up to 70%. So this might reflect the fact that the guidelines are not up to date and, and um, the local doctors um, do not find, really find the guidelines are uh, applicable or easy to use in their uh, local um, settings. Uh, we also uh, observe uh, a lot of variation in the um, reported practice in from the KB surveys across the hospitals. Um, and from this, we can identify uh, important um, factors and um, that uh, might explain the over prescribing in, in, in doctors. For example, the psychology of, um, the, of doctors in trying to cover the uh, patient's expectations or in um, trying to avoid potential complications. So these are the kind of areas that we can look at in our uh, AMS programs. And for the further details in the process of uh, implementation, you can refer to this um, uh, paper just recently published. And uh, our initial analysis at one hospital shows some uh, promising results in the overall antibiotic use. For example, um, after um, the uh, after the start of the intervention, we started to see the um, a lower um, amount of antibiotic use over time, and it seemed to be sustained over over the implementation period. However, in the in, in the control words, the trends seem to be even increasing. Um, so um, it is kind of promising, but also uh, warrant um, further. Uh, for uh, further investigation into how um, uh, this can be the how this can be sustained over time and what are the issues that we can explore further in in the next um, uh, analysis and also the next step of implementation and research. So in in summary, um, for AMS program interventions and core elements need to be put into the local context and need to be implemented within, with an interdisciplinary approach in order to provide sustainable impact on antibiotic use and help to tackle the AMR ch challenge. So with that, I would like to uh, acknowledge the um, uh, contribution from different hospital AMS teams across our, the hospitals in our network and also um, different collaborators and funders uh, to this work. And with that, I thank you very much for your attention.